when you hear hip hop, what comes to mind? Ostentatious lifestyle depicted in music videos with half naked women? Rap music? Well, hip hop is a cultural movement that became popular in the 1980s and 1990s and also referred to as the backing music for rap. It incorporates rhythmic and mostly rhyming speech and has become the movement's most influential and lasting art form. Hip hop originated from African American economically depressed South Bronx section of New York City in the late 1970s. Hip hop comprises of four elements, disc jockeying, rapping or rhyming, graffiti painting and b-boying which encompasses hip hop dance and style and attitude. Our focus is on rap which is one of the four elements of hip hop. Rap garnered national prominence in the United States of America when Sugar Hill's gang song Rapper's Delight was released on an independent African American owned label Sugar Hill. The influential rap pioneers are Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Cold Rush Brothers and Cortez Blow, until the mid-1980s when there was a new wave of rappers and they were referred to as the new school rappers. In the forefront were the likes of Run the MC, LL J, Public Enemy, MC Armor, Will Smith, NWA, amongst others. This gave rise to gangster rap genre. After a Los Angeles record label built an empire around Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg and the late controversial rapper Tupac Shakur. In the hip-hop world, lines will be crossed, words will be exchanged, toes will be stepped on, families will be dragged in, and feelings will be hurt. This is due to the competitive nature of hip-hop, as was evident in the death of rap legends Tupac and Biggie. Hip-hop influenced the music scene around the world, and this, of course, includes the Nigerian music scene, bringing along with it its rivalry, popularly referred to as beef. In Nigeria, the beef battle are usually settled with diss tracks and sometimes a few angry rants and bans on social media. There's been enough beef amongst prominent rappers in Nigeria, but the question is, is it real rivalry or just publicity for clout? The most recent being M.I. and Vector, but let's take it back. Way back memory lane in 2005, Rugged Man released the song, eh -eh, calling out Idris Abdul Karim and a whole lot of other rappers. M.I. and Kelly Anthem. M.I. released the track Talk About It, calling out Kelly Anthem, and in another song, Ham Hot Remix, he appeared to shade Anthem. Anthem then responded by releasing a song titled Catch Me If You Can. It did not stop there. In the song featuring Ice Prince called Nobody Test Me, he fired shots again at Kelly Anthem, and the latter responded with Chocolate Boys Freestyle. Am I again this time with Iceberg Slim? Iceberg Slim released the song Mr. International and he shaded Am I on the track. Am I responded with Somebody Wants to Die. It didn't stop there. Iceberg released the whole diss track, Am I Better? And Am I dropped the track Beef in 2016 and he focused on both Kelly Ansem and Iceberg Slim. Nice and rugged man. There was an altercation between the two hip-hop artists over alleged infidelity on the part of Nice's wife at the time, Tony Payne, which involved Rugged Man and a couple of these songs were released, but the song that really caught people's attention was Talk, I Am Listening. Vector and Reminisce Vector dissed Reminisce in a song he featured on Kitchen Streets, and Reminisce seemed to respond when he dropped a one-minute song, Atta. Then Vector released a song from his sophomore album called Distractions, which is apparently a diss song to Reminisce. Vector and AQ Vector appeared to have shaded AQ in a song, Where Is Vector? And AQ replied by shading him on the same beat as Vector's song, Where Is Vector? Fast forward to 2019 and shots have been fired between the Mr. Incredible M.I. and Vector the Viper. It all started when M.I. and Vector were featured on a track. M.I. rapped about his status as the king and Vector's verse in the same song ended with a light-hearted comment that he stays grounded like M.I. At that time, they had only had competition-inspired tension between them. Vector had also made a very popular remix to Ole Ku, Ice Prince's hit. The tension was building. This resulted in subtle call-out after call-out. On Mattel Cypher 2, Purification, M.I. Abaga threw shade at Vector, claiming to be the king of rap in Nigeria. Vector responded to M.I.'s invitation with the porch, and it got people talking on social media. The beef was apparent, and M.I. announced an EP, and Vector replied with Tetracycline, asking M.I. to a rap battle. M.I. released the Viper last addressing Vector, and Vector replied with Judas the Rat. Hmm. There have been four tracks released in this beef, that's Vector's porch, then Tetracycline. M.I. came out with the Viper, then Vector finally came out with Judas the Rat. We spoke to some veterans and Nigerian hip-hop artists, and of course the fans, if the thing beef is part of the hip-hop culture, and here are some of the reactions we got. 
The hip hop culture is um, hip hop is life, and um, definitely in life you you get all sorts of things. You get love, you get hate. Definitely you get beef. So to me, I look at it as a big. I'm looking at a bigger picture. Beef is part of life. So definitely, you know the culture is life. So yes. Hip hop has has always been a competitive sport. You know so. I believe that at some point people are meant to butt heads, you understand? Because you know, one person wants to like there's an imaginary drone that everybody is chasing. There's a everybody wants to be the best rapper and be the best, you know, at what they are doing. So eventually you butt heads and I think um as for long as it's in a healthy environment and stuff, it's, it's fair, you understand? Like it's, it's competition. It's it's as it's like any other um sport, it's like you know, athletics or football. People are always going to butt heads, and there's like in the El Clasico, there's always going to be like little bits of you know anger and stuff. But it's part of the culture, you know. That's how it is. Yeah, I think it's it's part of the uh, hip hop culture, of course. Uh, you know, it brings out the spark, the entertainment in it. Yes, definitely. From beef, you get to see one of the best tracks, like Drake's um, Pusha T's added on, Story of Added On. Drake's back to back, Jake's charged up. You get to see tracks that are, that are based off beef. So yeah, it's part of the culture. The Performing Musicians Association of Nigeria President, Dr. Obi Okudili Kasimir, popularly known as Bombalistic Uncle P, has reacted on October 13, 2019, stating that grudges between Nigerian musicians is unhealthy for the music industry. It said being emotionally immature when composing or writing your song means you cannot control your emotions or reactions towards your colleagues. Is this a wrong representation of hip hop or is it all part of the culture? We never know. I think I'll leave that for you to answer. Peace.